Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Too Sick Internet Solutions. We're the guys who made Too Sexy. And in version seven, we released this visual query designer. And um, I think the best way to just discover it is if I give you a short demo and kind of just guide you through it, what it's all about. So for this scenario, I'm actually going to do a real life um, uh, problem that I will solve with you. So for example, right now we just introduced a new section that we just called help. And we would like to introduce the ability to link to here with certain keywords in the URL, like let's say security or permissions, or maybe a keyword about design or tokens. And of course, in addition to the normal help that we would have here, I would like to make sure that if a certain keyword comes, matching links will appear to help the user go there. So what we kind of need is a way to manage links and we need a way to make sure that only the links appear on this that actually fit the situation. So what I've already prepared right now is um, I've prepared <coughs> a new app. It's called the, um, the, the, I'll have to look what I called it. Um, what we have in here is we have uh, some links. Um, for example, here, let me just show them to you. Uh, it's just a link telling people how to work with permissions, uh, something about the REST API, which we just developed, and some things about the security. And of course, they have some tags attached. So in the background, for example, this link knows that it's related to the tag permission configuration, permission, security, visual query designer, that kind of stuff. So we've created these links. We have tags that we can assign to that you just saw. And I've prepared a template, which I will show you here, which looks like this. So in other words, it's just a repeater going to show a list of links. So now there's two things I'd like to do. First, I'd like to create a small tool to manage these links. So I would need a query which delivers all links in this app, not just the ones on this module. So let's just get started and do that first. So first, goal number one is deliver all links uh, from the system into a template and maybe sort them automatically or something like that. So let's look at that. Um, just to remember what we're talking about here, um, the link itself has the content type name called link and it has a field called um, title, which will probably be the one we will sort for. Okay. So let's go ahead and say, we're gonna to go to the visual query designer. There's a query in here already, but we're just gonna ignore this for now. And I'm gonna say, I'd like to make a new one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it all links sorted. Um, this here is a test parameter. I'll explain that in a moment, but we can ignore this for the moment. So I've now created a query and it's completely like default. In other words, what you see here is just the query, the way it would <coughs> be in a normal scenario. Um, but I'm just gonna go and kick out some of the stuff that I have here because I simply don't need it. Let me just explain what we do have here. We have the cached data in the system, but the basic source could also be a SQL source or something, uh, anything. But we're gonna start with uh, two sexy content. So the links come from our system, from the cache. It's gonna go through a publishing filter, which makes sure that um, unpublished links will not be visible to outsiders, only to admins. And now we will add a data source. Um, because through the publishing filter, let me just quickly show this to you. Let's assume that I would wire up the output of the publishing filter directly to here. Um, let me just give this some kind of a name, links. Um, if I would do this, then all the content, no matter what content type, would be delivered to the template. Um, I can demonstrate this by clicking query. Um, I should not just get, okay, it has a, a minor problem here. Let me just quickly refresh the pipeline. There are sometimes cases you previously saw that. Um, we're not quite, yeah, the layout before was a bit weird. Um, yeah, I think this is one of our bugs that we still have. Um, if you have things like this, I'm not demonstrating this on purpose, but it happens, um, then just reload it and do it again. And you'll see this time it should work. It still doesn't work with that. It's absolutely terrible. Uh, 
we lost some wiring here through this action. So let me just quickly rewire this here. There are two or three cases where some glitches happen. And I think it's okay that it, it showed it during this because you'll probably run into one or two of these two. Um, and if that does happen, don't worry too much. Just, yeah, as you saw, I could finally fix it quickly by just rewiring it. So let me quickly tell you what happened. Um, the cache gives the publishing filter all the data that it wants. Um, but you'll notice that it's saying it has 34 items on this wire. And you'd noticed it before too. I mean, there's not that many links. We have a few tags, a few links, it's just too much. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we only um, deliver the links. There's two ways I can do that. I can either use an entity type filter and say, just give me the links. Or I could use the app control. For right now, I'm gonna use the entity type filter because I think it's easier to understand. And I'll just say, okay, instead of giving the links directly, I will go to the entity type filter and then map this to the links. Let me just save it to see that I get no errors. Okay, this works. Now the type filter doesn't know which type to filter for yet. So I'm gonna go into the settings and go link. So now it should only deliver links. Let me test this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, by the way, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this screen in a moment, but you will see that originally I had 36 items going to here, and there are only three left which are passed on to the links in line. So that kind of tells us, okay, right now all we get is links. And um, let me show you actually what's happening in the background. I'm going to click query again. And what you get is this. First of all, you see um, the test parameters that we're using. This is very important because no matter what happens, you could be opening this dialogue through any other kind of a reason, or you may want to test what result would appear if certain things were in the URL. So we're ignoring what URL you see here on the screen completely. It's just using the test parameters, and I'll show you a demo with the URL in a moment. Then you see the JSON which comes out of this. This, by the way, is the very same JSON that you can use to create JavaScript applications. I'll show you about uh, more about that in another video. Um, so this is just the JSON, for example, saying, okay, this is uh, the first link that I have. It has these tags attached to it, for example. Um, this is the second uh, link down here, additional tags. And if you scroll down all the way, you'll see some more debugging information. In most cases, you won't care too much about this. But for example, here, it also again shows you the wiring information how much data was passed from which element to what, which other element, and some things about value resolution. I'll explain this some other time. So in other words, I think the most important thing is looking at these numbers, and we kind of know this is looking pretty good. What we can be sure about right now is that the result is not sorted yet. Uh, just whatever order it was created in, it will appear. So let me go back to this tab here, and this is the page where I would like to manage my links. and you see I've created the template manage all links, um, but of course it doesn't know the pipeline, the query that I created yet. So let me assign that. I'm now gonna to go to the template management and I will now go to manage all links. And I will say, I would like to use that query which I just created, all links sorted. So if I press update now, basically the system now knows that for this template, it should use that query which I just created. And you will see immediately, I now have a list of all the links, just like they came out of that query. And the template already contains uh, edit buttons here, link uh, toolbar. So it's, it's very trivial. I can also go look and see what is behind this link. I can click on it, it seems to work. Um, and I also added a button just to create new links in case I want to. Well, you'll notice now, of course, <coughs> they're not alphabetically sorted. So just to finish this first part of the tutorial, I will add alphabetical sorting as the next one. So let's go to a value sort, add a value sort filter. Um, again, this is just a box. Um, and this too, I'll just drag it to somewhere. I will say, okay, now I'd like the link to go into here. And I'd like to take this out and put it there. 
So now, of course, it could already sort, but it doesn't know yet by what value. So I will tell it I would like to sort by title, and I'd like to sort ascending. Now, very often you may not know exactly what the tricks are about this. Um, in that case, go to 2sexy.org, 2sxc.org. Um, and there you should be able to find out more about the data source value sort. So I'll apply this. And basically what I'm expecting now is I should get the same amount of items to come through, but they should now be in the correct order. Again, I have some kind of an error. Um, bummer. Let's see what it could be. Maybe I'll just say one instead of ascending. I'm, I'm not sure myself. Let's give it a try, but I'm, it's usually a wiring issue if you get an error with the pipeline designer. So let's um, quickly remove that. And if all else fails, a safe thing is usually just refreshing the designer. As I said, uh, okay, see here we're not, the wiring wasn't quite as it should have been. Let's see if this works now. The tool isn't 100% foolproof yet. I'm sorry about that. But let's see what happens now. Um, so right now, the sorting seems to work now. Learn, learn, etc. It's saved already. So actually, if I just refresh this page here, I should already get the data sorted. So that's basically what this thing does for you. I can add further things. Um, for example, I can add filters by relationship and, and a lot of other fun stuff and it's pretty easy to manage. I also think one of the core features is that if I gave somebody this they would be able to change it to do something they want without needing to understand too much about how it works. So that was the very first part about it where I showed you how to create your very very first query. In the next part I'm going to show you how we can um, change this a little bit so all the links come which match a certain URL parameter. So this is part one. Daniel Mettler from Tusik Internet Solutions. Thank you for watching.